Don't tell me to calm down, Robbie. The others are in there with freaking Caretaker planning their next move against Faustus, and they are totally leaving us out. Again! But this is the Avengers we're talking about, right? They're heroes. And who had to bail out those heroes when your new pal Spider-Man was being chased by the alien slime monster? Us! Got you there. If they are so powerful, why could Strange not help us save Wanda? Look, Doc's a good guy, okay? He's patched up a spider in a year two since I started this thing. Flaming pumpkin bombs are not exactly covered by insurance. I would not trust him to patch a tire. They move into our home, take it over, and then have the nerve to leave us out of every single damn decision that affects us. You two want to cozy up to Mr. Stark and Doctor Strange? Go right ahead. Me, I'll be outside. Most of the air's been sucked up from here already. Hunter. Robbie, can we speak in private? Of course. Let's go. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. All right. What does she need me to do? She wanted you to pick the team present for magic. Oh, I got this. I'll find something unforgettable. Nico made some good points, but I gotta be honest. I'm getting used to the Avengers being around this place. I mean, yeah, Tony can be annoying. But not all of them. Of course. Although it makes me wonder. Wonder what? Well, what are they thinking about us? Blade, did you strike your head in the last training session? No. Why? It is just... I have never known you to be so interested in your fellow team members' opinions before. I'm concerned about the tactical efficiency between our two groups, that's all. The more we get used to each other, the more efficient we become. Like you and Carol. Exactly. Hang on. I have no idea what you're talking about. You have many abilities, Daywalker. Lying is not one of them. Admit what you feel about Carol. You owe yourself that much. Admit what? That I feel a sense of admiration and respect for a fellow teammate? Carol is a formidable warrior. A true hero whose power rivals the titans of old. Exactly. And she's just so chill about it. Down to earth, smart, funny, able to punch through a tank. Yes, very admirable and respectable traits. And yet I wonder if she goes through life alone, without a mate. I'm not going there, Hunter. Let's just drop it. Consider it dropped. Oh, and this conversation? It never happened. I will add it to the list. I couldn't help but hear some raised voices in the other room. Was wondering if you knew what all the fuss was about. Was there some argument? You might want to talk to Nico directly. Why? Is she upset? I do not want to speak for her. But she seemed angry about Wanda. I want to grieve too, but none of us have that luxury right now, or else we'll be grieving the whole world. Thank you for your honesty. I will have to think about how to handle this with Nico. We'll speak later. Hunter, just the person I wanted to see. Okay, I'll be honest with you, anyone is the person I want to see right now. At this point, I'd sit down for a tea with Galactus if it meant I didn't have to sift through these gamma readings for another second. It's all just starting to blur into one big giant green gamma mess, you know? And my favorite big giant green gamma mess is too busy to help. Uh, 
I have seen you harness the power of a sun. I believe you will find a way, Dr. Banner or not. More of a white hole versus star, but I hear ya. Still, just because a gal can absorb gamma energy doesn't mean she's ready to teach a class on it at Empire State. And it's not just that. I've got a bad feeling about things lately, okay? Particularly when it comes to you and Bruce. I'm what they call a precog. I catch glimpses of the future. No idea why, but I'm sure channeling the power of a mini white hole through your entire body might have a little something to do with it. What exactly did you see? Nothing specific. More of an impression. You and Bruce. Your faces. You didn't look good. Is this what Steven goes through? I sometimes catch glimpses too. The past, the future, sometimes a different present. Though the source of our visions may differ, you are not alone in this burden. <laughs> Forgot I was talking to the Chosen One there for a second. Still, I actually find that somehow comforting. Maybe we can start a tortured vision book club or something. I'm always here if you want to talk about them. I might just take you up on that. My visions are chaotic at best, and very few and far between. Maybe a while before I can make sense of this one. <sighs> I should get back on task. I think I've ignored these numbers long enough. Talk to you later. By the rising rings of the... I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, this time. You don't need to check up on me, Hunter. I'm fine. Perhaps I wanted some fresh air as well. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm sure they'll be opening an Avengers satellite campus here soon enough. The gods spare us all. <laughs> Look, the Abbey might be a little rustic, but it's ours. <sighs> was ours, until these Avengers just swooped in and started treating us like a bunch of outsiders in our own home. And it's not like Caretaker does anything to stop it. Hell, she freaking encourages it. Pisses me off so much I could scream. The Avengers are powerful allies. Yeah, so I keep hearing. I did not finish. As are you and the others. There is a reason Caretaker chose you for the Midnight Suns. You will have many chances to prove yourself before this war is ended. Thanks, I think. N not gonna be lining up to assemble anytime soon, but I get it. You know, maybe this all wouldn't be bothering me so much if they were focusing all their effort on finding Wanda. None of them even mention her, let alone discuss how we're gonna rescue her. Because Newsflash, no one plans to, especially Caretaker. She's probably happy she's gone. Ugh, forget I said that. And definitely don't tell Caretaker about any of this. Midnight Sun Cone of Silence, okay? <sighs> Good vent. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> Later, Hunter. We've stumbled on a Hydra unit unloading some of their stolen bounty. Unfortunately, their crates are rigged to self-destruct. The required key card isn't swiped first, and Hydra's agents are carrying the keys.
with one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. Only the innocent are spared. Prepare yourself. Light will heal you. It was your time. I suppose it's You're just lucky we aren't allowed to take your own. None can escape it. shipment Hydra won't be receiving. Yo, got a sec? Hey Hunter, Parker and I cooked something up and we think you should be a part of it. Oh, you know, if, if you're free. I could be free. Right on. Then let's head over to the shop and... Ah, oops. Almost spoiled the surprise. I tell you what, if you come with me, just for a bit, I promise we won't waste your time. All right. Where are we headed? Oh, it's not too far. I can't wait till you see it. Hey, you made it! Told you. You want to give the rundown, or should I? I got this. Welcome to the shop. What is this place? For me, it's a piece of home away from home. Quite a setup. What need does it fulfill? All kinds. Usually, I work on the Hellride, and Parker tinkers with his web gadgets. And as we do, we brainstorm ideas of what we could work on together. You call it the shop, but I see nothing for sale. That's the beauty. For me, it's an auto shop. For Parker, it's a workshop. We're both wondering what it's going to be for you. There must be a reason you do this here instead of the Forge. Two reasons. Tony Stark and Doctor Strange. We wanted a place with good vibes and less bickering. Where we could focus on a project without the smartest men in the world telling us how to do it better. The shop is where you work things out for yourself. I understand why the two of you are here, but why invite me? Caretaker always described you as someone who worked with their hands. You made things. You did the work. So we want to make things with you. Help you do the work. You two are so thoughtful. Where do I start? Wherever you want. Why not let Parker give you a quick rundown on our current project? After that, we'll close up the shop. All right. It's all pretty neat, huh? There's not enough here to give you a tour, but I did want to show off our first project. Don't have a name for this yet, but if you run into Eddie again, uh, Venom, we think this could give you an edge. When we fought Eddie, the symbiote reacted strongly to your presence. It noticed something about you and tensed up. Our project takes advantage of this. This project of yours, what does it do? Our first prototype dulls your presence around the symbiote. Makes you harder for Eddie to notice. So, a symbiote muffler? Ha! Huh. 
It is now. The other prototype will help if you're ever caught in Eddie's tendrils. It blasts a distracting subsonic pulse that should give you time to both fight your way out and hit him with a counter. Like your zingers that keep him distracted? You know, Robbie and I should let you name all our projects. Then we need to miniaturize it so it fits in your suit, but we can have it ready pretty quick. I look forward to seeing it in action. I knew you'd be into this! We are going to make so many weird things together! Oh yeah, I can scrounge enough components to finish this project, but if there were more, we'd have more options. I'll put together a list and send it to your spark. Bring what you can next time you're here. All right. Huh. So, how'd it turn out? Better than expected. Sick. So, that's the shop. What do you think? You and Parker have outdone yourselves. Then think of what the three of us can do. I'll give you a heads up before shop class meets again. Shop class? Right. That's what we're calling our time here. See you then. Telling me are so good. Who did you want me to meet? Hunter of the Abbey, may I formally introduce you to the Hellride. Is this different than the one you have at shop class? Uh, no. But this time it's just the three of us. I always like to show her to all my friends and just realize that we've been so busy beating back your mom's forces, I haven't had a chance to give you an up-close look at her. Gorgeous, right? Even without the extra hell sauce, she's a beast. She is one of a kind. As are you, Robbie. Uh, thanks, Hunter. You always make me feel like... I don't know. Like I'm part of this whole thing. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love Nico and the rest of the sons like family. But... Well... Sometimes I feel more like... Invisible by day, rattling chains by night. Know what I mean? You are not a ghost to me, Robbie. Maybe not, but I have a feeling the two of us are gonna haunt the armies of Lilith anyway. Blade, can we speak in private? Is it about the chore wheel? Because I'm not swapping. No, it is not about that. Good. Everyone knows how I feel about dish duty. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. No. Hell no. I thought you were close with magic. I am. That's why I won't do it. I told Nico and I'll tell you. Magic skims the last chapter of a mystery before starting the book. The woman does not like surprises. Do you know why she dislikes surprises? Does she need a reason? That's how she is. It sounds like she would want to know about the party. Might not go over well with Nico. But Magic would appreciate it. That's your call. Is there anyone else who could help prep for the party? Outside the Midnight Suns? That Parker kid has way too much energy. 
May as well put it to good use. Thanks, Blade. For what? Kid's annoying. You'd be doing me a favor by keeping him off my back. Do half vampires need sunblock? Can your fangs drain a cream-filled cake? If we bite each other, would we have the same powers? It just... it never ends. Do you have time to speak in private? Are you firing me? Am I getting fired? No. Why would you ask that? I don't know. I panicked. Uh, sure. Let's talk. Nico needs help prepping for Magic's surprise party. Really? She asked for me? She asked for Blade, but he is busy. Oh. So Blade thinks I can fill his vamp-kicking boots? He said if you are busy, you will stop bothering him. I Daredevil said the same thing when we first met, but he came around. We're buds now. We hang. I do most of the talking, but... So is that a yes? Sure. I'm the new guy. I get it. How can I pitch in? She needs help decorating the party room. I can tape balloons to the ceiling while standing on it. I am so in! Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. What's new, Hunter? This won't take long. Want to read something that'll make you weep? Take a look at this. There it is again. That strange gamma energy signature. The green numbers, as Bruce says. The hydrotech we found is saturated with the same fluorescence. And what does Dr. Banner have to say about that? Can't get an answer from him. He's gone off the grid. AWOL. Happens sometimes when he's working something out. What kind of something? The really big kind. Then what now? We find ourselves another doctor who specializes in creepy gamma science? Just so happens I know of one who recently opened up shop in the area. Of course, he's barking mad. Faustus. One and the same. Well, I suppose you two do have some catching up to do. Oh, you know, Hydra secrets, dastardly plans, the odd bomb launched in my face. How soon before we begin the hunt? Based on the intel we've recovered? Now. My old buddy, Dr. Faustus. He'll be thrilled to see us. It is not hard to detect the sarcasm in your voice. Faustus. You'll be heading into New York near the harbor. Faustus is overseeing Hydra operations in the area. There must be something important down there if he's shown up personally. Stay focused and try and keep a low profile. If you think Lilith's forces are corrupted, you don't want to meet the Port Authority. Very temperamental after such a long journey. My beautiful. Child. 
terrible girl. You'll be free of confinement soon enough. Pray to unleash Mother's righteous fury upon her enemies. The weak, the ignorant, the unworthy. <laughs> I find exactly. Mm. Well, that certainly looks familiar. Dark magic. I can feel it. Just like before. Plus, he's boosted the gamma signature. It must be the new and improved extra evil model. Ah, uh, yes. Coming soon to a deserted dock near you. So glad you discovered television. <clears throat> Whatever this thing is, it's clearly important to Faust. And Lilith. Which means it's worth a closer look. Way ahead of you there. Work with me on this. for the servants of the Lord. Time to waste. Let us go. Even you must have detected the latest modifications to my device, Captain Marvel. I'm afraid you'll find her in it is not so easily absorbed this time. No! Please! You cannot fail me! Hold you one. <laughs> one? And thus will be done. Typical. For Hydra. So easily, though. Stay alert. Support units on the move. Now, damn you! Think you scare me? I, who serves at the right hand of the Demon Mother, who hears the whispers of the Dark God Cthon, 
who was chosen to learn his secrets in the one true tome of creation! Do you really think I could be afraid of you? Yeah. What? What? Do you want to know? Everything. Black Ops, Black Ops Division. You should see the file Steve's got on the guy. Faustus must have outlived his usefulness to Hydra. And sadly, us. Perhaps not. If decades of fighting the undead have taught me one thing, there's always an answer. Provided you dig deep enough. Let's get that back to the Abbey. Only maybe wipe it down with a napkin first. suits you well. You look... strong. What is it you want? To love you. To be there for you as a mother should. Love. That word must burn your lips. Burn? <laughs> you have no idea. It is the only thing that fuels me. Everything I have done, everything I do, everything I will do is for you, child. Always for you. Can you honestly say the same about Sarah? Surrounding you with heroes who will gladly return you to your grave after you've exceeded your use. Wait! Not this again! Poor child. How did you end up so alone? 